Hi folks, Christian Brindle here, and today I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Medicare.gov, which is Medicare's website, to compare the Medicare Part D prescription drug plans in your area as well as Medicare Advantage plans to see which ones will cover your specific medications the best. So let's get started. First step is you want to go to Medicare.gov. You should see this page pop up. And you're going to see these three green buttons here. You're going to want to click the one with the magnifying glass here that says Find Health and Drug Plans. You'll be taken to this page now where they will use your zip code to search the specific plans in your area. So I'm going to use a specific zip code for Sandy, Utah, which is where our office is located. You'll then come to this page where it wants you to put in a little bit of specific information about your situation. So that way it gets the comparison as accurate as possible. I typically recommend putting in, I don't have, I don't know what coverage I have, excuse me, on this first one, and I don't know if I have a subsidy on this second one. If your situation is you just have Medicare Parts A and B and you want to see what everything is with no alterations, don't ask me why. This is the most accurate way to do it. If you do have Medicaid or a subsidy, you can fill it in here to the best of your abilities and the best of your understanding on what you have, although it might not be as accurate due to the fact that there's many different levels of Medicaid. We're also going to put, yes, I want to add drug coverage. Then you continue to plan results. Now, on this next page here, it will want you to enter in each prescription and it does it in the form of a search finder. So I'm gonna put in a very common medication that I see people take all the time, metformin. Some of you watching might take this one. It'll pop up and it will want you to pick the specific dosages that you take. I'm gonna use the most common one that it auto selects for me, which is a 500 milligram tablets. You can pick the number of pills you get for a 30 day supply and you can choose between a 30 day supply or a 90 day supply or something else. I'm just going to do a 30-day supply and the regular dosage. You add the drug and dosage to your list. You'll see it pop up in this area down here. Now, one thing that's important to know before we go to the next page here is this area right here has your specific drug list ID as well as the date that you entered this information in and the zip code you used. I usually recommend if you take any substantial amount of prescriptions, and you want to come back and check this periodically, especially when the plans change from year to year, you want to save this information, write it down somewhere, maybe save it on your computer, because you are able to come back later, enter in this drug list ID right here, the date that you entered this information in on and the zip code you used, and it will repopulate everything that you entered in before without you having to retype everything in one by one, which can be quite tedious. So that's important information to know. You then go to my drug list is complete and you click on it and we'll go to the next page here which is searching for a specific pharmacy. This is important because depending on which drug plan you're looking at, some drug plans the price of the prescription can vary depending on which pharmacy you go to. It automatically searches a half a mile from the zip code you're searching so you can always extend that if your pharmacy is not nearby. We're just going to keep it at half a mile, and we're going to pick CVS Pharmacies across the street from our office. You can enter two in at once if you like and compare the costs of the two pharmacies, just so you know. You can't enter in more than two at a time, but you can enter two. I'm just going to do the one, though, for the sake of example. Then we continue to plan results, and you're going to notice that you're going to see these three sections here. The top section here is prescription drug plans, which is your Part D drug plans that are designed to typically go with people that have Medicare supplements or Medigap plans. It's their prescription plans. It's just prescription plans and nothing more. This middle section here is your Medicare Advantage plans with drug coverage. And this bottom section here is your Medicare Advantage plans without drug coverage. So we're just going to click here and we're going to search the prescription drug plans and see what we got. This will search every drug plan in the area that you're searching. It's unbiased completely. 
the first thing you'll always see here is Original Medicare, and that's what your out-of-pocket costs would be if you just stayed on Original Medicare and you didn't pick up a drug plan. As many of you may know, if you have Medicare Parts A and B, they offer no prescription coverage or Part D coverage. So this is basically what the cost would be of you paying out-of-pocket and retail value. So if I enrolled today for the remaining year, for the remainder of the year, excuse me, this would be my out-of-pocket, $225. So we continue to go down here, and it automatically will show you the first 10, but you can view 20, or you can view all if your area has more than 20. There's 26 plans in the zip code that I searched. In. So the first one that comes up is WellCare. Here you see the monthly premium. You see if the plan has a drug deductible. You can see more information about co-pays and co-insurances here. The estimated cost if I enrolled today. The mail order cost. Sometimes plans have tremendous discounts through mail order. It will tell me right here if all of my prescriptions are in the plan's formulary, meaning the, that they'll cover them. And then it tells me here if there's any drug restrictions such as step therapy clauses, quantity limits, or maybe something else. And then it shows me the star rating here. So if I'm going to compare, it will allow, th this system will allow me to compare three drug plans at a time, maximum. So I'm going to compare that plan, an Aetna plan. It's oh, battery's getting low. And an Express Scripts plan. So then you go back to the top here and you hit compare plans once you've picked the plans that you want to see. And it'll take you to this new page here. And there's different sections and tabs of this. And you can see health and drug plan benefits. In this case, we're just looking at drug plans. So we're just going to stay on the drug costs and coverages section. You have phone numbers, information. You can even enroll in these plans directly on the website if you like. I typically recommend working with a good agent myself because that way you get that extra customer service year round. It doesn't cost any extra to do so. So if you go down, each plan is in their own category. You have, oh, sorry. You have the plan's premiums, drug deductibles, um, estimated costs at CVS, the pharmacy I selected, the estimated costs at the mail order. In this case, there's not much difference, but with some plans, there really can be. And then it will show me an entire year's worth of estimated costs in 2019 on this plan with my prescription. Granted, don't count on this to be accurate, in years to come because these plans change their coverage, their formularies, and their copays each and every year. This cost also includes your drug plan premium if you didn't know. It's your total cost of being associated with the plan. You go down here, it will tell you what tier your prescription falls under. In the Medicare world, they have tiers which are basically categories that determine how expensive or how inexpensive your prescription will be. The lower the tier, the lower the copay, they go from one through five with most plans. So you notice these two here have something that's called quantity limit. That means that the dosage that I picked, they may require more information from your physician to approve it. It's typically easily waived, but you can see more information here. This is the quantity limit amount that they kind of cut you off at. Another section that I find particularly useful, especially if you're taking a lot of prescriptions, and if this sec this part of it can be confusing, you click on this right here where it says View Monthly Drug Cost Details by Selected Drugs, and it opens up this new tab, and then you can see an exact amount of how much you're going to be paying. So with WellCare, the prescription won't cost me anything, and the premium would be $15.50. With Express Scripts, the drug plan would be, the prescription, excuse me, the metformin would be a dollar. And with that, it'd be free. So it, it, it adds up the premium as well as my copay into my total cost, and that's my monthly cost. So with Aetna and WellCare in this scenario, I'm basically only paying my drug plan premium.
And that, folks, is how to use Medicare.gov. If you found this web, if you found this web tutorial useful, please do us a favor and like, um, comment below on your thoughts, and subscribe for future tutorials just like this.